Poem 15 is very surprising in lots of ways because uh, Propertius began his whole um, poetic um, oeuvre with the statement that he fell in love with Cynthia and that's what caused him to write. Uh, and in Poem 15 we, we sort of suddenly discover, oh actually, um, the first person I was in love with was Lysina, who's somebody we've never heard of before, we only hear about in this poem, and she sort of taught me what I knew. Um, but, but then he goes on to say, oh, oh yes, um, but, but it, that, that was years ago, and, and I don't see her anymore, and, and you know that, the thing, the thing is addressed to Cynthia, so, so don't be jealous of her. Um, and he then goes into a very strange mythological um, example about jealousy between two women in, 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 the, in the mythical age, um, where the, the, um, the, the jealous woman sort of drives um, the person she's jealous of, Antiope, out into the wilderness, but then Antiope's sons end up um, killing the original um, the jealous woman, Dersi, in a very um, un unpleasant and gory manner. Um, so if this is meant to be an example for why Cynthia shouldn't behave like this, it's perhaps a bit too over the top to be very convincing. Um, but what I think is, is interesting with where this poem comes in Propertius's oeuvre is, is that um, it's sort of one of the beginnings of the end that we can see in quite a lot of these poems in book three. It's going back, it's being revisionist, it's saying, oh actually what I told you right back in the very first poem I wrote in book one maybe wasn't quite so true, maybe I'm not quite so idealistic or quite so obsessively interested in Cynthia, maybe there are other things in my past that I haven't told you about. And it's beginning the sort of disentanglement from the obsession with Cynthia, which we eventually see in the last poem of the book, where he seems quite happy just to turn around and say, I'm not interested in you and therefore in writing this kind of poetry anymore.